got some folks. Goddamn consumer law. Consumer law. What's going on, Tiara? I think I'm saying your name right. I just be like, Miss Robinson. How you doing, Miss Robinson? <laughs> but uh Oh, yeah, you already on this, so you already, the stuff I'm about to go over, man, you already on it, man. And I want to, I want to personally say I've been watching you, you know what I'm saying? And, man, it, it's, it's, it's very uh, exciting to see somebody tapping in, you know what I'm saying? Like, definitely somebody is, uh, 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 that didn't know anything about it, you know what I'm saying? Tapping, because you, you just how I was, as soon as I learned this shit. Man, what? Nothing else matter, man. I like tch, tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the shit that's gonna free us. You know what I'm saying? Off, off books. But uh this live today, man, just basically talking about what's going on. You know, everybody talking about the uh United States running out of money October. Okay, now I'm here to say that some people should be scared, but the ones that's informed. Oh, man, we ain't worried about nothing. We ain't worried about a goddamn... The United States running out of cash? What? Okay, what that got to do with us? You got to think, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm going to wait till a few more people come in, y'all, so we can really dive into this shit because there's a lot of people that's scared right now. You know what I'm saying? The one thing that controls people is fear. If you don't add me back... I thought we was already friends. We not friends no more? Oh, man. Oh, I thought we was already friends. Yeah, yeah, I can add you back. Yeah, I didn't know we was. But, you know, the stuff I'm about to talk about, you know, you, you, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You, you ain't fucking with that shit. That shit gonna sound crazy. But, uh, but definitely, once I found out I ain't have to pay bills, it was over with. I don't need no proof of nothing. I'm running nonstop. Thank you. Okay, I got some motherfucking like that motherfucking comment. Can I like that comment? Thank you. Okay, when I first learned this shit, Miss Robinson, I didn't need a motherfucking. I didn't need to see nothing. Uh, uh brother Umar didn't have to show me a damn thing. What? What? All he had to do was show me the law. There is no law saying I gotta pay a bill, and I'm reading all these laws that's protecting me. As the consumer showing me that I don't have to pay shit because it's already paid. You know what I'm saying? So definitely I didn't need to I didn't I did I didn't need to see anything, quite frankly. I definitely didn't. Oh, let me take this Wi-Fi off, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't. Um but like I say, the law speak for itself. These acts speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people asking. Like, what do I put on my document? What do I say? What do I say? It's, it's, I can tell you what to say. You feel what I'm saying? I have told people what to say. But, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to rebuttal, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know how to follow up, like, you dead in the waters. You know what I'm saying? Only, only, and, the, and the only ones that know how to follow up is the ones that studying. All right, for the ones that, for the people that's just tapped in, we talking about consumer laws right now. And we're going to get into... Everything that's going on with the United States, okay? What's about to go down? A lot of shit is about to go down, okay? A lot of shit is about to go down, okay? And if you are incompetent, you are about to drown. You are about to motherfucking drown. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even laughing. I'm being dead ass serious. You you, you about to drown. Of, 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 due to the thing, everything is about to come, you about to fucking drown. For all the incompetent people, you are about to fucking drown, goddamn. And I'm not, not, not about to say you're about to die. We're not talking about death, guys. Okay? We're talking about just as far as the economy. Okay? If you are incompetent, yo, it's about to be grave for you. Uh, well, please tell me what to say because I'm ready to study and get my money back. Uh, long story short, it's not really what to say. It's what you need to learn. Okay, y'all, we need to change how we ask the question. What do I need to say? What do I need to say? It's really what do I need to learn? Because what I need to learn is going to allow me to 
uh, 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 have conversations because it's not one thing you need to say. This is not like a test, y'all, like a right answer test. This is an express. This is a test where you have to elaborate. You know what I'm saying? I used to hate these type of tests. I used to love multiple choices. This is not a multiple choice test. This test and ex expression, you have to further elaborate. How did you come up with this answer? Why are you the consumer? How are you? You know what I'm saying? What backs you? Okay. You know what I'm saying? That that, that stuff like that is what um, uh, what you need to learn. You can start off with uh, 15 USC 1601. Uh, but before I just give you x uh i would highly advise you go find groups i'm gonna tell you the groups go find the groups first so you can hear other people just like you speaking like this because when you go read these x these x is put in in a way that it's supposed to go over the incompetence head you know what i'm saying i can tell you an act but if you go read it you're not gonna understand what it's talking about you're like what the fuck okay you told me to read this but what am i reading you feel what i'm saying so it's imperative that you go find groups. One group, for instance, uh, just to get you on to show like what uh, the uh, the system that you're uh, going against. There's the Bureau Bullies. The Bureau Bullies is on uh, Instagram. That's the Bureau Bullies. All right, uh, their picture is like a black and red picture. Uh, but yeah. Uh, But yeah, we gonna uh, uh you go to the the bureau bullies on Instagram, uh, brother Truth on Instagram. Uh, you got on YouTube. You can look up uh, the People's Remedy. The People's Remedy. Um, definitely, man. They did. when I started studying up under the People's Remedy, uh, his, uh, the guy's name, brother Isaiah. When I when I started listening to him, and he started pointing me direction to the UCC and shit like that. I really I really got down. Y'all can still hear? I don't think. Is it still connected to the car? Hold on. Quick, y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all can hear me? Okay, cool. All right, but yeah, when I started studying up under uh, uh, the People's Remedy, uh, the People's Remedy, that's on YouTube, y'all. So go look it up, the People's Remedy on YouTube, all right? Um, also, cause basically, when I started looking at him, he started pointing towards, like, the UCC and, uh, like, how to how to delegate your goods and who are we. Once I started tapping into that, I already knew who I was, but it gave me even further details of who I am. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's the People's Remedy on YouTube. And when y'all watch his videos, make sure y'all fucking screen record them shits because they may not be up there in a couple of months. I'm here to tell y'all, man, they doing a lot of shit on social media where they just going to start taking shit down, okay? It's about to go into real censorship mode, right? You know what I'm saying? For you as citizen, okay? You got to know who you are. Are you a citizen or are you a consumer? You got to know who you are. All right. A lot of shit is about to go down. OK, the whole shit with Biden, with the banks, you know, what I'm saying they able to see up to six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's about to go down. That's only about to go down for the U.S. citizen. That that doesn't apply to motherfuckers that are secured parties because we operate out of our private. OK, so it's 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 a different ball game. You know, what I'm saying it's like certain shit don't apply to certain people. You know, what I'm saying I can't say too much. Uh, 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 on this live, but I'm just here to say, yo, you got to become competent, man. This is, you got to become competent, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be paying nothing. All right, this is the time to really be beefing up on your information because your information is going to allow you to uh, get around certain mandates that are about to come. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't want to be up, up, uh, up under certain jurisdictions, right, you know what I'm saying? You better become competent. It's a lot of you. So all the high highs, he, he, and that be going on. I be high he and too. But at the end of the day, yeah, damn, I'm, my, shit's, um, my shit's solidified. You know what I'm saying? Me and my family. Okay, so at this point, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at this point, it's just still uh, doing your due diligence on securing yourself. Because that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Taking ownership of all your accounts. What I mean by that is, because I got to remember, goddamn. 
a lot of people are just starting it, so I gotta speak it, talk on the uh, on the beginner level. You know what I'm saying? Not not, not knocking anyone because I, I was a beginner at one point. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what I mean by taking over accounts, right? Just like you got a water bill, you got a car note, rent, whatever. Okay, all those are accounts. Okay, anything that you use for your social to obtain is an account. Okay, and since it's an account, that account has an owner. Okay, that account owner. Okay, who's the account owner? Okay, you have the account owner, right? The account owner is the name that the bill comes in. Okay, <laughs> now, now stay with me because a lot of people get lost. Me as myself when I first learned this, the bills that we get in our quote unquote names, y'all, is not our name. I'll say it again. The bills that we receive in the mail or online or however a motherfucker pay his bills or her bills, that bill is not our name. Okay, that bill is our principal's name. Okay, stay with me, guys. All right. When we went to go open up these accounts, what did we use? We used a social. Now, all of us have been informed that our social is an identification card only. Oh, it's just for identification purposes. Oh, man, we just need that for identification purposes. Okay, I'm here to tell you guys that is a lie. Now, the person that told you for identification purposes, nine times out of ten, they don't know the true meaning of a social. You know what I'm saying? They're just a worker, not knocking any workers, okay? All right, but they're just doing their job. Oh, we need it for to do your application. Ah, whole time, y'all know who knows the truth of what that social is, okay? That corporation's CEO or the register agent. It's all the same thing. Register agent, CFO, CEO. Stay with me, y'all. So you got a CEO of a corporation, right? Right. So us as the consumer, we go to these corporations, whatever it is, car, house, uh, uh, you trying to apply for a credit card, lights, you getting your, anything that you use your social on, y'all. It is an application that you apply for. So I'm talking, so this covers everything. All right. So so y'all don't have to ask, well, does this work for this? Does this work? This works for every single account that you use with your social all right now back to the scenario the ceo knows what a social is okay now the majority of people that works in his corporation don't know and they don't know for a reason all right because if they did know what a social was they would not be workers guys okay so stay with me y'all i'm really like really like this is gonna hit home for some people because this is free you know, I'm going to tell you this one goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? This is free. You know what I'm saying? Like, boom. When we go get anything on a consumer credit transaction or go get anything financed, right? When we give them our social, right? Y'all, that is our business credit card. Okay? I'm going to say it again. It is, a, it is really a business credit card, guys. So, with that being said, since it's a credit card, why do you think it's called a social security credit card? You know what I'm saying? Well, we would say a social security card, but you'll use it for your credit. You know what I'm saying? Every time you go, oh, well, let me, we need to run your credit. What's your social, right? You know what I'm saying? They ask you what your social is. I, I need your social to run your credit. You can't run my credit without my what? Social. So, that tells me that this is a social security credit card it's not just a social security card okay it's a credit card since it's a credit card with any credit card all credit cards are attached to what a bank okay just like your bank of america credit card is attached to bank of america your capital one credit card is attached to capital one your goddamn wells fargo you know what i'm saying y'all get it so what is what bank is the credit card you just social security credit card connected to? Okay? Just look on the back, y'all. Just look at the back of your goddamn social. It says if lost, report to the social security 
administrative office. Y'all, that is a bank. Okay, that is a bank. It is also attached to the Federal Reserve. Okay, it's enough of the conspiracy shit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like all that, because if you look on Google right now and ask, is my social a credit card? Is it my social attached to the Federal Reserve? Y'all know what they're going to tell you? No. They going. Google is going to lie to you. Okay, Google is going to mislead you. Well, Google not going to lie to you. I can't say that. I'm sorry. Google is going to mislead you. Google is not going to lie to you. Google is going to give you a whole bunch of goddamn links of bloggers who's who's trying to tell you, oh, no, nah, that's not true, y'all. If you do it, you're going to get locked up. Ah. Like, what? Now, you can't get locked up for doing shit you don't have. You don't know what you're doing because ignorance of the law is what? Not an excuse. OK, so boom. All right. So your social is a social is, is, is attached to the Federal Reserve. Okay, it's also set attached to the Social Security Administrative Bank. Okay, now y'all know with any credit card, you have a limit on it, correct? Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, since your credit card has a limit, you might got a Capital One card that has a, I don't know, $2,500 limit, $1,000 limit, $100,000 limit. You know what I'm saying? You start getting a good, good quote unquote credit, higher limits, quote unquote. Now, let me ask y'all, what do y'all think your limit is to your social security credit card? What you think your limit is? Because I'm going to show y'all how all y'all that's listening right now, you know what I'm saying, everybody that hears this live, I'm going to show y'all how you're already a billionaire. You just don't know how to use your billions, okay? Because I'm going to ask y'all, what is the limit on your social security credit card? Because remember, I told you, it's attached to a bank. How much, how much, is, how much funds is in that bank account? Uh, oh, bingo, we got an answer. No limit. There is no goddamn cap. Why you think they say the higher your credit score is, hey, you can get anything you want. Okay, you can walk anywhere and shoo, shoo, walk on up out of there because they have made you believe your credit score is the reason you did all that. When whole time, no. Don't matter if you got a 420 like myself or you got a 900 credit score. Okay, it's all the same. We all have Social Security credit cards that was given to us. All right, and that we're only supposed to use on business transactions. All right, well, well, I, I, I ain't gonna say business transactions, my bad. Okay, we use it for consumer transactions. All right, since we use it for consumer transactions, all right, they're unlimited. There is no limit, y'all. Y'all know there's people out there right now getting houses with a high credit score, no money down. And they're thinking they're getting a house because they got a good credit score. The whole time they're getting a house because they're supposed to get the fucking house. <laughs> Yo, let me keep going. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. When you uh, uh when you use your social, all right, back to the scenario. I know I was saying a lot, but back to the scenario. Remember I said there's that register, that CEO knows what a social is. So, meaning if you go to a dealership, that dealership of Ford knows, that, that CEO of Ford knows what that social is. And he also knows what the consumer transaction is. Okay, consumer credit transaction. And consumer credit transaction is anytime a consumer walks in and got them applies their credit. That's a consumer credit transaction, y'all. And with any consumer credit transaction, there aren't supposed to be any cash uh, or any comparable cash transactions to go along with it. Meaning, you should not be paying a down payment. You should not be paying a monthly payment. Using cash. Why? Because cash don't fucking exist. Only credit exists. Only way to zero out a debt is to use credit. You cannot zero out a debt using cash, y'all. Cash is a debt instrument. How the fuck you gonna use debt to cancel out debt? You know, debt is not real, but we just, you feel what I'm saying? We're speaking in our, in, in our terms. How can you eliminate debt? with a debt instrument. So the one that the person that's going to work right now, you're paying your bills with cash. Okay. You're not doing nothing, but it's a cash withdrawal. You're just giving them cash and they're not going to tell you to stop paying because why that CEO, it's not his job to tell you to stop paying. You know what I'm saying? He's sending you the bill in positive balance. You know what I'm saying? We they, they send us the bill. It's in positive. If our, if our bill is water bill, $300, they're giving us a check, $300. All we got to do is accept it. That's the agent. 
You see what I'm saying? It, well, we can't even get to that point because we don't even know what the fuck the agent or principal or what the fuck it is. The credit scope. You know what I'm saying? So I just be listening to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, complain. Oh, I might. I gotta go do this. I got man. You don't gotta do none of that. We don't. I thought I had to do that shoot. Yo, we don't gotta do none of that. Okay. Just like how Rosa Parks sat her ass down and change happened. You can sit your ass down, learn some shit, and change will happen. You know what I'm saying? We so could so uh this shit don't work. I got to do more to get more. Which is kind of true, but if you working towards the wrong shit, nigga, you exerting yourself for no reason. I tell you, nigga, you ain't gotta do that. Like I I don't know if y'all need a pale face motherfucker to tell you that shit. Because I'm going to be real. Once the shit go down that's about to go down on my journey, it's going to be hard to get in touch with me, y'all. It's going to be very difficult because it's going to be levels now. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to deal with certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, y'all, it's going down. I don't know how to say it, y'all. It's going down. Okay, it whatever you're doing, whether it's legal or illegal, if you're not passionate about doing that shit, rather you passionate about doing, it, yo, you can learn consumer law, and that's probably the easier way. I'm not here to say it, man. Yo, you can follow the groups out here, y'all. There's groups out here doing that. You know what I'm saying? There's people around y'all doing it. The fact that there's people that's saying that I just scam. I, I just, I just, really, I really be putting myself in people's shoes, like. Okay, I'm watching a nigga's post talking about consumer law. Okay, ah. I, I'm watching somebody else talk about consumer law. They're telling me I don't have to pay a bill. Why not see what the fuck he talking about? Why not go look up what he's... Yo, this information is free. The only thing that costs you is the instructor. <laughs> this information is free. It's free. Trust me. Trust this is easier than working. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? You the more you learn, it's like a rabbit hole. You're gonna keep on beep beep like damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, well, just, let me just show you how it was. I'm like, damn, I don't gotta pay. Let me figure out how to pay. They owe me? me for all the payments I paid them? Oh, hell no. I need to get all my money back. Fuck my job. I need to learn this now. Because they gotta pay me my money. Do y'all not know? (laughs) Y'all, there's affidavits that you can send in stating if you do not, if you guys do not abide by my instructions, I can sue 10 times the value of the property. So, if you have a million dollar house and they deny you on it, and you do your necessary steps as far as your power of attorney on file, right? You know what I'm saying? You send your written instructions, all right? You send your necessary documents established to who you are, and they say no. Do y'all not know that they're going to owe you 10 times the value? That's why I tell y'all to go apply for some big shit. The fuck them little old small shit, man. Go get some, some dream shit. Go get denied, okay? Because you're going to be able to collect that on the back end. Y'all, I, I I don't know how to put it no simpler than that. You know what I'm saying? No one is going to put it that simple, okay? All right? No one is going to do that. All right? No one is going to do that. This applies in criminal also. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want the wrong person learning this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you're supposed to operate in good faith doing this. You're not supposed to learn this shit and start doing some underhand shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to teach you some shit so you can do some underhands. That shit's dead. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of the manifestation that goes in this shit. This is not for everybody. This is a, 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 a this is a spiritual war. You know what I'm saying? You have to be righteous to be able to get remedy. You ain't gonna be able to be doing fool goof shit to your people. You know, underhanding your people and think you' about to progress. That's dead. It's not about to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, yo. Learn this information, y'all. This information 
puts you outside of the jurisdiction of these U.S. citizens. These U.S. citizens going to have to be mandated. These U.S. citizens going to be having their bank accounts checked on. You know what I'm saying? These U.S. citizens going to be getting the No. I said yes. Yeah, that's, that's for them. That's not for us. You know what I'm saying? You got to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Because your best friends might be them, but you might be somebody different. That's why I'm saying, yo, it's time to elevate, man. Y'all can play with it all you want to. Y'all seen this shit on the news, all right? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm not surprised when they show the news, but they giving a lot of shit on y'all. Trying to prepare y'all for the, uh, uh, well, I'm saying prepare us for what's coming up. So we're not confused. Only people that's going to be confused is the incompetent. You know what I'm saying? You got to be competent. Just like the, just like these policy enforcers say, in, in, uh, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know the law, you know the game. This is a law game. You don't have to be a lawyer to learn the law. Why do you think you got to be a lawyer to learn something that's supposed to protect you? Literally, we hire lawyers to delegate our lives when there's stuff that we can learn. Think about that shit, y'all. Think about how many people are locked up right now. You know what I'm saying? That put all their faith in an uninformed lawyer all because he went to law school and he, he, he doesn't, he's not a master of the law. He's just a master of words. He can just go into courtroom and regurgitate words back. He doesn't really understand the law. Man, I tell a motherfucking lawyer up. What? What? I motherfucking tell a lawyer down. You know what I'm saying? Representing myself. I would never in my motherfucking life hire another lawyer. My That last lawyer I hired and I really beat my case why I had him. I was like, damn, I started crying. Like, what did you do, bro? Because I was like kind of instructing you to do shit. He wanted me to take the plea. I said, no, man, let's go to trial. He asked me, are you sure? I said, yeah, nigga, they don't got no what? Go to trial. They dropped the whole fucking case, y'all. He just stepped foot in court. And I had to scratch, like, nigga, I paid this lawyer to handle this for me. Like, bro, you didn't do anything. You got high ratings, but you didn't do anything. You wanted me to sign up for something I didn't have to do. You know what I'm saying? Yo, become informed. You dodge a lot of shit. The more you know, the less you pay and the less you work. It's a difference. That's why you have bosses. You have workers. Everybody's not going to be a boss. Okay? Everybody's not going to be a boss. How's everybody going to be a boss? It's impossible. Somebody has to work. Somebody has to be incompetent. Is it going to be you? That's for you to decide. You know what I'm saying? Again, a rat, I don't care how in, in your feelings y'all are about it. It is what it is. Business don't have a face to it, okay? For the, for, from the beginning of time into the end of time, there will be a uh, competent versus the incompetent, okay? And the competent will thrive off the incompetent. The incompetent, and I'm not saying that in a, uh, a negative way, like saying they're leeching off of them. No, no. They're going to thrive because they know what the uh, incompetent doesn't know. Okay? The system is built around the incompetent. Life is built around bills. If you know how to master your bills, nigga, you're free. You don't know how simpler it gets, y'all. Okay? No one will ever give it to you that simple for free. God damn, I'm, I'm here to tell you, God damn, y'all. Y'all, uh, this shit is real. Okay, this shit is real. I am not telling y'all to stop doing what you're doing, but I am telling you to stop doing what you're doing. Okay, because nine times out of ten, I'm going to say 9.9 .9 times out of ten, what you're doing right now is holding you back and you're going in the wrong direction. I had to make the realization myself. I, I was trying to find high paying jobs. I got to 30 ball, got to 40 ball, and whole time I was going in the wrong direction then it blew information information brain blast like Jimmy Neutron came okay and then wham pam now I'm here okay I'm not looking back okay consumer law has already helped me in tremendous goddamn ways way before I even seen any proof okay I was actually doing this but didn't even know I was doing it that's how easy a lot of us do consumer law don't even know we're doing it a lot of the credit repair guys use consumer law. How y'all you, you think they wiping shit off y'all credit? Hey, how you think that's going on? You think it's just because you're asking? No. 
they're applying consumer law. They don't even know what laws they're applying. You feel what I'm saying? They just get a template from their mans that they bought from, and they start a business from that template, and then wham, bam, you know what I'm saying? And they just get everybody to use that same template, and you know, wah, 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 wah. You know what I'm saying? Not really understanding the information that they're using. You know what I'm saying? Like, so definitely, y'all, don't just give your money and just think you're just going to learn some stuff. Y'all really learn this stuff. This stuff is free, okay? You got the Truth in Lending Act. You got the uh, Bill of Exchange Act. You got the uh, uh, Power of Attorney Act. You got the Transfer of Property Act. The Fair Debt Collection Practice Act. Y'all. A lot of power for free, okay? We got our phones. We got these smartphones. It's time to start using them smartly, okay? It's just that simple, all right? All right? Simple, all right? The mandates with the vaccines and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to speak too much on that. They're going to shut my shit down, but that's not for everybody, goddamn, okay? If you, you, if you know who you are, it's certain things you can dodge for, for sure, for guarantee you, okay? Uh, but, yeah, let me get back to the uh, scenario because I kind of got off track. All right, now, when, y- when y'all, uh, uh, <laughs> all these acts to make a nigga act right, facts, nigga, like, that shit crazy. Like, this shit this is right here for us. Yeah, but, yeah, let me tell y'all, uh, let me get the scenario, right? All right, now, remember I told y'all your credit card, your social security is a credit card. Okay, the one that knows that is the CEO of that corporation that you're doing business with, meaning like a you know, car dealership or whoever. All right, the the CEO of Ford knows what a social is. Okay, when we go and enter a contract, what I mean by entering a contract, we on a application apply our first name, last name, we apply our birthday, we apply our information, and then we apply our what our social security number. Okay, we just provided all the identification of our principal. Okay, what is a principal? A principal is a uh, uh, is, is a corporation. Oh, is uh, 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 is, let's say an endorser. Okay, your principal is uh, uh, I want to I'm gonna say the obligor. Your, your, the principal is the one is the one that's uh, um. It's going to get the bill in his name, his or her name. All right. Now that that principal has the same name as you, but that's not your name. OK, it's only meant for you to use that name. OK, for consumer transaction, for any consumer transactions. OK, you, you're to use that card because you can't go finance nothing without that card. You see what I'm saying? So that shows you the power of that card. OK, now that when I uh, when you go in and enter those consumer uh, consumer transactions, consumer credit transactions. All right, we, we, we fill out the application, we send it in. All right, we wait to get approved or deny, deny, which is also a violation. Well, it's not really a violation, it's just a, a hold up because we don't know what to put on the application before we send our application. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so now let me just use a scenario. I'm gonna use two scenarios, all right, because I plan on talking on this motherfucking live. All right, this is free game. I'm gonna give y'all two scenarios. I'm gonna give y'all a scenario with somebody with trash ass credit. I'm gonna give you two scenario uh, scenario with somebody with good ass credit. Okay, I'm gonna give you the options of the one with the trash credit, and I'm gonna show you what the one that does with good credit does. Okay, so stay with me. All right, so bing. All right, the nigga trash ass credit, three hundred ninety credit score. Goddamn. All right, let's say he wants a motherfucking uh, 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 uh Lambo, Lamborghini. All right. Like he walks, walk, 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 walks up into the Lambo dealership. He sees the car he wants. Walks up, he wants that one. All right, they come up into him. They start throwing numbers at him, saying, "Okay, we require this down payment." Yada yada yada. Okay, let's say this uh guy with trash credit knows his laws, right? So he goes into the dealership, sees the car he wants. All right, because it's different. There's many ways you can do this shit. I'm just gonna give y'all a one way. Okay, so you go in. Uh, see the car you want, all right? You can uh, get the application, right? On the application, when you fill out the application, y'all, we're supposed to add instructions to these applications. See, we're not supposed to just fill the application out and send them in. See, that's where the first step we go wrong, okay? We are not competent enough to be going into contracting. Even Congress has said that no one that's incompetent should be entering contracts because they're minors, they're minors. Minors can't enter contracts. Okay. 
Minors can't inch because they're they're either too young or they're incompetent. All right. So if you run around calling yourself a minor, you just call yourself incompetent. All right. So boom. Let's say he knows his uh his his consumer law, right? He goes to the dealership, he sees Lambo, he won't keep in mind his credit score is not three is three ninety. All right. He adds an attachment to this application, y'all. Now, this application would say uh, things online as I'm the agent acting on behalf of the principal. This is for personal uh, 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 family or household uh, purposes. This is not for commerce, uh, for uh, commerce, right? You know what I'm saying? Basically showing him how uh, he's he's uh, setting his titles, right? Because that's basically what it is, Okay. He will add, he will attach that to his application, y'all. Okay. With that application, I he don't have to give it to the dealer, the, the seller right then and right there, because why that dealer salesman, he don't know the consumer law. He gonna hold his ass up like, sir, what is this? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, you know what I'm saying? So boom, what you want to do to avoid all that time wasting, y'all. Time when I went to the dealership and got my time wasted because they was incompetent. So now you strictly deal with the boss, okay? Deal with the boss. So with that application and his written instructions attached to that application, he was send in a power of attorney with that application. Why does he send a power of attorney in the application, right? Because remember I told you that Social Security is the principal, all right? Every principal has an agent, okay? Who's the agent to that principal with that card? You are. The one that I'm talking to now, the one that's in possession of that card is the agent. He is supposed to do all the work on behalf of that credit card. Now, is he supposed to be paying anything? Fuck no, y'all. That's not his job. That's like you getting hired by Walmart and you paying Walmart's bills. Do cashiers at Walmart pay Walmart's bills? No. So why are you paying the bills? On behalf of your principal, you work for your principal. You're supposed to get paid. Bing, bing, bing. Not only are you not supposed to be paying bills, you're supposed to be getting paid for your bills. Now that shit's gonna go over a lot of the heads. Why I say I'm not gonna see him stay on that too long because that shit is really a lot, over a lot of the head. You really have to know who the fuck y'all to even understand what I mean by that. But I'm just giving y'all a scenario, okay? The agent of that principal is the one that's in possession of that card. The card is the principal. All right. So keep in mind, a guy with 390 credit score, Lamborghini, right? He goes in, uh, the, the dealer, he's telling him he got to put down this, yada, yada, yada. He said, okay, I, I want to do an application. He signed, uh, he fills out the application, but he does not turn it in. He keeps the application. He said, I'm going to be right back. Okay. Because keep in mind, he doesn't need to inform that salesman of everything because that salesman doesn't even know what the fuck is going down that salesman is used to people doing it a certain way you see what i say he's used to working with incompetent people because he's incompetent all right so since that guy with 390 credit score is competent he leaves with this application right when he goes home he writes up his instructions because why why is he writing up in the instructions Right, he's writing how to delegate the account. He's about to open up account. So since he's the agent, he needs to add instructions. Who are the instructions for? The instructions are for the CEO of the dealership that he went to. He doesn't speak to the salesman, he speaks to the boss. Why? Because bosses speak to bosses. Okay, since he's the register agent of his principal, he has to speak to a register agent of the corporation. Who's the register agent of the corporation? The CEO. The CEO, y'all. I say it again. Who's the register agent of the corporation? The CEO. So if you so for him, so he will send all his documents not to the fucking headquarters of the dealership. No, he will find the register agent's address. Sometimes the register agent's address is totally different from headquarters address. See, this is where the shit gets deep, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to know what the fuck is going on. I can't just tell you what to say. You feel what I'm saying? You have to know the game. You got to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, back to it. He sends his written instructions, right? Telling him that he accepts the uh, 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 um, the cre uh, uh, credit. He acknowledged the credit that he's giving. Now, who's giving the credit? The, the, the guy with 390. 
when he applies, he's applying the credit. He's applying the credit card. He's the applicant. He's a, he's giving the credit. He's giving his own credit and expecting them to extend him his credit. The banks don't give anything, y'all. The banks don't lend money, y'all. You got to know what an original creditor is. Okay? The consumer is the original creditor. Stay with me. All right? So he writes his handwritten letter. He attaches to his his uh, application. Right? All right? He puts it. He, uh, he has a power of attorney notarized. He gets his power of attorney notarized. All right? Now, on the, on the power of attorney, his power of attorney is basically giving his rights from his principal to his agent because you have to do a power of attorney and give rights from your principal to your agent. And the agent must accept those rights given. Yo, it's kind of confusing, but it's like you giving yourself rights and your other half has to accept it for it to be in compliance. Yo. So after you do that, y'all, y'all see. Now, keep in mind, y'all, ask yourself, have you ever did that to an application? No, me either. Meaning we have been entering contracts really fraudulently. Walking into goddamn shit. Like, these aren't violations. This is just incompetence at its highest level. And they are profiting off our incompetence. But once you become competent, you can goddamn straighten out anything because there's no statute of limitations on nothing. Okay? As soon as you wake up, you get to get all your money back. Y'all busy working and working. You ain't got time to go get your money back because you you too exhausted. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? He says in his power of attorney, notarized. So that's two, that's three documents so far. His his application, right? He got his uh a power of attorney, right? He got his goddamn written instructions. That's also notarized. These written instructions will also have his five fingerprints. Red, by the way. Okay, five fingerprints. It's going to have his uh, picture, uh, passport picture size, I, uh, p- uh, picture also included with it. So that's like five documents, y'all. Five documents that he's sending to the CEO. So when the CEO receives this, he's like, oh, okay, he's like, he wants me to delegate because he is instructed to do a certain uh, a task. And if he doesn't follow through with his task, litigation comes lawsuit comes do you not know if he doesn't uh, uh, uh follow up with his duties you can sue 10 times the value of the property so if the lamborghini was three hundred thousand, and that and he sends all his documents in right and they're all in compliance and they still say no he can got them send an affidavit got them to them letting them know like yo i'm suing 10 times because that's what i'm old that's what congress says i'm old so since 300,000 times 10 is what he's going to be owed, y'all. That's not including attorney fees because keep in mind, he's, he's going to represent himself. You see what I'm saying? So you, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think they're going to take him to court or y'all think they're just going to give him the car? All right. So wham, pam, he gets his car. They don't want no problems. They don't want no motherfucking. They know they're not the original creditors. They know what's up. They just want to see if you know. You know, they want to see if you know your shit. Because they're not going to give you, they're not just going to up and give you something if you don't cause no threat. You you calling me talking about that violation, 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 but you ain't sent in no documentation. You ain't even sent in the right documentation. You know what I'm saying? It's, y'all, this is, you're not going to learn this overnight. I didn't learn this overnight. I don't think no one learned this overnight. You know, what I'm, this is a, this is a long-term thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to study every day. Every day you study, the closer you get to freedom. I guarantee you study this shit for two weeks, three weeks. Learn how to delegate, get all the proper documents on file. Bro, you'll quit your job. You wouldn't even need your fucking job. You'll be reaping in remedy money. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll be getting assets like like that. Just what well, I mean, I ain't going to say like that. I got to stop making it seem like it's, you know what I'm saying? Because you might have some back pull from some uninformed people. But you have to be ready to a bottle with that belt. With the belt, I call it the motherfucking lawsuit. You can't just be hollering, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you. Do not, y'all not know they have million dollar attorneys set to the side just for people that think they're ready to sue? Y'all, they booted up. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they solidified. You got to come correct. If you don't come correct, man, you ain't going to get shit. And you probably doing it the right way. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, man, learn your shit. 
It's not about what you just say on the document, man. You got to learn what the fucking game is, man. This ain't this ain't the type. You know how you got an AAU team and that good dude that don't practice. He just comes to the game. You can just throw his ass in. He can just punish. Y'all, this not that game. Hell no. You try to do that shit, man. What? These corporations going to dunk on your motherfucking ass. Come take your shit. Gangster your shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they already know you ain't about that shit. You ain't about to sue nothing, bitch. What you about to do? That's how they, that's how they, that's how I look at it. That's how that <laughs> they gangsters to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, not to me, but in my eyes, they're straight gangsters. To tell somebody I'm not gonna abide by your cease and desist is basically like, bitch, fuck you. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit. And we gonna come get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck you gonna do about it? And we we get evicted, we get repo, we get our lights cut off, man. We we don't do nothing. What we try to do, we gonna try to Rack up the money to try to satisfy. Y'all ever good when they call? Hey, are you going to make a payment to satisfy? Y'all got to hear the verbs, man. Y'all got to hear the verb. We satisfying them, man. Them. We not we not uh, 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 paying the account. We're satisfying. <laughs> we not we not zeroing no debt. We're satisfying. You know what I'm saying? So every single time you pay a bill... You're satisfying. You know what I'm saying? Cause and every time you don't use that credit positive balance that they send you in the mail, that, that is an asset. That's an unclaimed asset. So what do you think happens to unclaimed assets? It goes to the state. And since the state is a corporation and the state is owned by a CEO, that CEO collects all those assets, y'all. <laughs> so when you see little text saying, you might have unclaimed assets. That's what they talking about. You know, you can't just call and say, hey, man, I need my check. Nah, and you got to get the right document. You got how do we know you the agent of this principal? You got some documents proving that? Where your birth certificate at? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, it's certain document that you must have on file, y'all. Like, I ain't going to say you must have it on file because I've seen some people get remedied that, that didn't have those documents. But I'm here to say, man, get them documents on file. Cause it's gonna make your it's gonna make it way more much easier because if they see that you don't have them documents on file and they can hear your phone calls and see how you just learned this shit, bro, they not budging, yo. These, yeah, I think y'all these is OGs. You know what I'm saying? These billionaires. You think they gonna fucking roll over because a motherfucker took a class or two? No, motherfucker better study. The hell, better study. So you can't hold nobody hand. It ain't none of that. Hey, man, what I say? They just called me. My best bet. Hey, call them and tell them you'll send them a letter. And don't call you back because you ain't ready to have a conversation with them on the phone. Don't even call them. Because all they're doing is recording your uninformed conversation. And by the time you get to the big dog, they listen to all your conversation like, man, now he just learned this shit. Man. Stall them out. Send them another bill. You know what I'm saying? See what he say. You may get two no's. But that, that man, then you send that same shit. Then that third time you send it, maybe a yes. Doors may just open up. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing doors open up like, damn, I'd have been told no. I done went to the Secretary of State and been told no. <laughs> sent my shit back. Said me, we can't authenticate this for it, it seems to be get, trying to be used for uh what they say, improper use. I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't even tell you what I was using it for. What you talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. That kind of game, y'all. So it's like you got to stay with it, man. It, what brother Isaiah say? This this is not for the swift, goddamn. I was trying to be swift with this shit. This ain't for the swift. You know what I'm saying? This is for the one that studies. The one that studies is the only one that's gonna win. The one that studies and win is the only one that's gonna live free. You know, that's the that's the most simplest way I can put it. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't just freeing yourself from bills. You freeing yourself from any jurisdiction, from any private corporation, any policy or policy enforcers. You know what I'm saying? Any uh, any police department. What? 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 But I ain't gonna go too far into that, y'all. But there's definitely groups available for y'all to tap in, man. Mine's of course cost. You know what I'm saying? Because I I don't do groups. Only thing I do is classrooms, you know what I'm saying? I, my sister does the groups. Um, y'all definitely tap in, man. She on here right now, Ariel and y'all tap in, tap in. But I'm gonna let y'all know right now, do not go in there. Uh, uh don't don't go in there just thinking the goddamn shit pole just falling to your laps. Okay, I'm supposed to live free because hell nah. <laughs> you 
Trust me. Trust me. It ain't how that group work. You're going to have to show. You're going to have to show what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I just sent this letter. You're going to have to show some work. It's easier to work with somebody that's showing the work rather than ask, hey, man, show me something. Hey, man, tell me this. Hey, show, hey Dan, have you read the bit? Have you read anything? You know what I'm saying? Like, for anybody that's asking me to help them, I'm not helping no one, especially if you haven't uh, helped yourself. Like, come on. There's people telling me that, 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 like, if you ain't got the fee, at least show me that you're helping yourself. Like I said, I ain't no gatekeeper, but my time is get, is kept by me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no gatekeeper to the information at all, but my time is kept by me. God damn. That's what you're paying for. You ain't paying for the information. The information is free. You can go read it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you got to pay for that instructor. You got to pay the messenger. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people getting that shit fucked up. I got one dude telling me shit like, you if you for your people, you wouldn't charge. Like, nigga, what? Like, nigga, you sound like a leech. Like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't never told a motherfucker that that was giving me information that could propel me in life, man. I had to give something. You know what I'm saying? Something. I done been charged. Now I look back at it like, damn, I probably got overcharged, but I don't look at it now because the information that I got was well over what I spent. You see what I'm saying? Just like Jay-Z said, we know the price of shit, bro. We don't know the value of nothing. So I told my man, bro, you disrespecting me right now by telling me you don't feel you need to pay. Bro, get the fuck out of my inbox, man. That's that's how I felt about it. You know what I'm saying? But people will try to bash and say gatekeepers and shit like that. But I'm here to tell y'all, bro, ain't, you ain't gonna, this information ain't for the motherfucker trying to take advantage, right? You know what I'm saying? You have to give something to get. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, this shit ain't free. Even though the information is free, but if you want a nigga to take you down and walk you down and explain to your specific situation on how to get remedy, and you don't think you got to pay nothing? Like, what? Nigga, motherfucking lawyers don't even do that. I'm like, come on, man. But yo, yo, tap in, y'all. Consumer law. Okay, consumer law. Now, I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, my class coming up, I got a class uh, November 7th, all right, I'm gonna take a month off on it, uh, my sister is holding her class is still, hers is 222, uh, I believe her 222, uh, a month, so definitely, but y'all, that's cheap, y'all tap in, I'm telling, I'll be telling to go up, like, fuck that, but tap in, y'all, tap in, because uh, you might not get at that price too soon, it's a community of folks becoming secured parties, you know what I'm saying, like, if that ain't, if that ain't the community you want to be in around a whole bunch of motherfucking billionaires, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and soon to be having their fucking paperwork on file correctly, I don't know what group you in, you must want to be around the group that go out to the club all weekends, you know what I'm saying, get drunk and talk about the same old shit, gossip all the goddamn time, you know what I'm saying, so, one thing Denzel, I just, I listen to Denzel a lot, he said some powerful ass shit, you know what I'm saying, he said, small-minded people, uh, uh, they gossip. They talk about other people. They sit around and gossip. Okay. Uh, uh, strong mind people. Uh, uh, they bring up topics. You know what I'm saying? They bring, Hey man, you seen what happened over there? Hey man, you seen, uh, the new thing just pop up, but you know, he said geniuses, you know what I'm saying? Make ideas. If you ain't putting no ideas in your friends or your people, if you're not bringing up topics to inspire ideas, you're small minded okay all you're doing is sitting around gossiping gossiping about celebrity shit okay and i'm here hey man the proof is in the pudding you know what i'm saying you got small mind you got strong mind and you got geniuses you know what i'm saying I, i'm a genius i don't give a fuck who feels about it you know what i'm saying like i can i can inspire an idea you know what i'm saying i can manifest myself in the situation you know what i'm saying like you see what i'm saying i'm, I'm a genius I, you ain't gotta tell me different i'm a god you ain't gotta tell me nothing different you know what I'm saying? Despite how it may look or how society may perceive it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You don't have to look like a guy. It's it's it's, it's about what's in you. You know what I'm saying? So tap in, y'all. Consumer law. Um uh this is a definitely a, a emergency time to learn this shit, y'all. Definitely, man. This ain't the time to be high high he he. You know what I'm saying? If you worried about a motherfucking startup fee, you're definitely not ready for this information. Cause again, money don't e- fucking exist. You see what I'm saying? Like, so, yo, tap in, y'all. Join, uh, join, uh, uh, my sis shit, man. Ariel and she, she, she in the, uh, chat right now. Um, but, yo, um, I got a class November 7th. Uh, damn, my bad, my bad. Back to the scenario, y'all. Um, I told y'all about the 390 guy. So that's how he would retain his property. 
with trash ass credit. Everybody wants to know how how do you get shit with trash credit? You just instruct your account. Now, now let me let me tell you the other uh scenario. The guy with great credit, eight fifty, but he doesn't know any consumer shit. He goes into the bank. Well, he goes into the car dealership. He has good credit. I got good credit. Ah. And they don't make him put a down payment, but he still has bills. Now, keep in mind, the guy with the Lamborghini, when he did his instructions, he wrote that he demands his title in 30 days, guys. So he received his title. That means he never received a bill, meaning he never spent a penny. All he did was give them his his Social Security and his instructions. Now, he has a Lamborghini for free, quote unquote. OK, now the guy that has 850 credit score. Yeah, he might got it. No, for low interest. Uh, he might got it. No down payment, but he's still paying a bill. You see what I'm saying? So do you want to have high credit score and uninformed or don't give a fuck about credit score and, and get informed? Because at the end of the day, a credit score is nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing when you put your necessary documents on file. Credit score is just for the incompetent people that doesn't fully understand contracts. I was one. I was what once that individual. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, that's what Congress say. That's not my words. You know what I'm saying? Congress says if uh you shouldn't be entering contracts if you're incompetent. That's their words. <laughs> so, y'all. It's some deep shit, man. If you don't, like I said, it ain't for everybody. Like I said, it ain't for everybody. But y'all y'all about to see a lot of shit, man. Y'all about to see a lot of shit. A lot of material shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell y'all now, man. Shit, the price going up. Definitely. Like, that shit it ain't no fucking down in my goddamn mind. Price going up. Definitely at the October. So, after price goes up, I just want y'all to realize that the information is free. I'm saying my price for my time is going up, but the information is free, y'all. The information will always be free, okay? So don't don't think you have to save up some money to go learn this shit. Don't think you got to go uh, join a group to learn this shit. I'm just saying, you, you will save yourself a lot of stress if you join a group, okay? Because you, you got like minds around you. You feel what I'm saying? If you are if you around, if you're around. Uh, 10 uh, billionaire mindsets, you're going to become the 11th one. It's just common sense, y'all. Like, it's common sense. If you're around people that ain't on shit, if you're around 10 people that ain't on, that ain't on shit, you ain't going to be on shit. If, you, if you're around five people that, in their mind, they got to rack up money to go pay something off, what you think you're going to do? You're going to be, well, my, my friend, doing, they doing this. I need to go do this, too. You're going to be racking up money trying to pay shit off. You know what I'm saying? If you're around guys that's stressing about their court cases that, that's not informed, if you're around five guys that are informed by court cases, what they going to be talking? Damn, I don't want to go to jail, bro. I, I got to get this lawyer. I got to do this. He's going to be trying to get money to get a lawyer. So what that's going to make you? You're going to be a nigga trying to get money getting a lawyer. But the whole time, you can just be around people that use consumer law to get out of uh, fucking uh, commerce crime. Commerce crime. Because that's all it is. Yeah, that's all it is. All crime is commercial. You know, and once you learn your uh, commercial uh, uh, stance, bro, you get out of all that shit, man. That ain't, that ain't nothing to you, goddamn. You become jailproof. God, I'm going to say, they might take this video down for me saying that, but <laughs> hey, you don't come jailproof, goddamn. And if you do go to jail, you don't get paid a lot of money when you get out, goddamn. So the choice is yours. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, y'all. My phone blowing up. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Consumer law, y'all. Consumer law. Okay. If you don't want to join any groups, go read the federal. The, go read the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act. And again, that's the Fair Debt collection practice act go read the fair credit reporting act go read the bill of exchange act go read the transfer property act go read the power of attorney act uh go read uh promissory note in banking act go read the truth in lending act you know what I'm saying? Yo, you can make your own fucking life Bible from them X, y'all, and never have to worry about finances again. That simple. And you can start your own fucking business from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, learn this shit and start a business. Learn this shit and be a consultant for your people. 
All right, y'all, I'm out, y'all. Y'all be safe, man. Keep on the consumer law shit, man. Nothing is more important other than your family, goddamn. Consumer law, y'all. Stay positive. Stay busy the right way. And peace, goddamn.